what's up guys um i'm running kid here again and i'm here to do my recap slash review on this episode 10 of transformers prime in no excuse me episode 11 excuse me uh entitled speed metal uh which aired today actually uh saturday aired saturday whenever you hear this it aired saturday um they moved the time slot of of um Transformers and G.I. Joe to Saturdays now. Um, even though they've already scheduled a second season already is in production already uh, for this show. But let's talk a little bit about this episode. Okay. The concept of this episode, Speed Metal, is you should kind of get it. Knockout starts to develop an interest in illegal sh- street racing. Uh... <laughs> So he he gets involved in street racing. Knockout in this show is one of the only the few Decepticons that has taken a automobile form instead of a uh, a flying machine like a, a plane form like most Decepticons have. They they usually take the you know planes and stuff. Uh, but but even during that time. Uh, it was kind of funny because the the racer that he went up against knockout scratched his paint job and that gets knockout very upset. He likes his paint job and uh, he went all he nearly killed this guy. You know he knocked this guy off the road, uh, the guy he was racing. So then we fast forward the next day and we see Jack talking to Sierra and Sierra's asking Jack about you know uh, the ride on his motorcycle that Jack promised him. Uh, Even though Jack tells, you know, Sierra, it's not the time right now, you know, we, we are introduced to Vince, and Vince is like this, he's the bully of the, the bully of the school, and he tries to show off and give Sierra a ride in his car, and even later on, goes off to try to race Jack, and, you know, uh, RC doesn't want any part of it, you know, um, RC is basically saying, you know, we, we can't do that. Don't abuse our powers and things like that because basically uh, that's what Optimus said. Don't do that. We, we're not supposed to do that. However, once Vince catches back up to Jack and RC, uh, he, 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 uh, he talks about how ugly RC looks and that gets RC <laughs> angry, you know. Uh, and so she tells Jack, you know, tell Vince it's on, you know, it's on, we're we're going to race this guy in. You know, later on that day, we see Vince and Jack going at it. Uh, Jack and RC event basically win. You know, it, it was no contest. And the next day, we see uh, Vince asking Jack to race again. Basically saying it was a fluke win. You got lucky. You know, Jack doesn't want to, but he eventually takes, you know, he. It, this episode was more about peer pressure once again, uh, which is cool. I got no problem with that. And, uh uh, Vince and Jack go to race, uh, this time, but, while at the, uh, while RC was at the, the, the Autobot base, basically, that's where Miko and Raph and everybody, is that everybody knows that, you know, at school that you had a race with Vince, and, uh, that's when Vince, you know, basically axes him again, however, you know, uh, Jack axes Raph to borrow Bumblebee to use in a race. Uh, so that night they race again. When uh, Jack, base, I mean, when Vince sees Jack, uh, he's like, the "Bikes in the shop now," you know, because he sees him with uh, Bumblebee. And uh, pretty much, Knockout comes back. Knockout comes back into the race, and he enters the race too. And he finds out that, you know, he f- recognizes Bumblebee even in his car form. And uh, they go at it. Uh, they're shooting each other and things like that. Uh, you know, it was like a car race between each other. And after losing Knockout, Vince 
goes up to, you know, Vince saw, he was watching the whole thing, and he goes up to, you know, Jack, and be like, and asks him, like, what, what just happened, like, and until, basically, Knockout kidnaps, you know, he kidnaps Vince, uh, and from there, you know, uh, the, the team, they, Knockout confuses, he thinks, Vince was Bumblebee's human friend, so he kidnaps him. Uh, Bumblebee calls for backup, and RC and Bulkhead come to help. As the Autobots, you know, are tracking down Knockout and battling him, Knockout escapes. Meanwhile, Optimus wonders, comes into the frail, and he wonders, he talks to uh, Miko and J Raf, and is like, where, where are the others? <laughs> where are they going? And Miko and Raph, you know, basically acting like they don't know anything. But, you know, eventually Optimus finds out, you know. So Optimus, when they're chasing um, Knockout, basically uh, Optimus finally makes his appearance and he, he stops uh, Knockout and he 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 um, takes takes uh, Vince out because uh, cause Knockout knocked out Vince, you know, and basically... Uh, Optimus rips, uh, he actually picks up uh, Knockout when he's still in car form, rips his door off, and takes Vince out of there, and then uh, Knockout comes out, I was like, you know how hard it is to find parts like this, and and when he sees the other Autobots coming, he runs away, um, so it's kind of funny, you know, basically, uh, Bumblebee and Jack, you know, drop Vince off at his car, back at his car, and that was it. Um, it was kind of funny, but later we, we move back to the Nemesis, back on the Nemesis, Starscream gives, uh, is pretty much upset with um, Knockout, basically dis, uh, disobeying the order not to do street racing again. And uh, he punishes <laughs> he punishes uh, Knockout by messing up his paint job, you know, um, which was okay. Um, the next day, Sierra and you know gets that ride from Jack, and pretty much, and that's how the episode ended. Um, heavy speed metal. This episode was. Okay, but it, in a way, it focused too much on the humans, in a way. <laughs> it kind of felt a little bit like the movie in this one. What happened? Okay, yeah, like, like I'm sorry, uh, people, I was talking to my brother. Yeah, like my brother just said, it felt more like the, the, the movie. Um, I thought it was funny this, that Knockout had a, a interest in illegal street racing, you know he's an he's the he's an Autobot. I mean a Decepticon, excuse me. That likes his his color. You know he likes that he's a car. You know while all the other Decepticons, especially Starscream, doesn't like it. He thinks it's stupid and things like that. That he would take on a car for him. This episode was okay. You know um, I can't wait to the next episode. Um, episode 12 that airs next next week uh called predatory predatory so i can't wait to that because this looks good because it looks like it looks like this episode is going to be focused more on rc and just going to be a spotlight of rc in this one so this one looks good um but for all those that still are watching transformers prime tell me what you thought of this episode mainly i'm looking for i know my my boy nako base still watches this so uh I, i'd like to hear what he has to he thought about this episode uh slash slasher con another guy i know that st still watches this so i'm looking for input from them two most definitely but uh anybody else feel free to leave what you thought about this episode uh in my opinion it was okay it felt too much like the movie uh, i when it focuses too much on the humans then i'm not really liking that it's, my opinion is have a balance but focus more on who the stars of the show 
is about. What is this show called? Transformers, not human formers. You know, from time to time, do it, yes, but this was too much. A little too much, in my opinion. And Optimus only showed up like in one scene. I, I, I can't deal with that too much. But he shined in that scene, though, so I'm not going to lie. Okay? But uh, other than that, guys, you know, tell me what you thought. This is Mount Vernon Kid. Signing off. Take care.